Another very important issue that you raise has to do with whether someone should be forced to take a part in all this debt restructuring program. Because that is what they seem to be forcing the individual and pensioners to do. Especially when we're looking at 80% participation and now we've crossed 80%. I'm, I'm not even too sure whether those figures are right. Mm. Because I wonder whether we take what this minister says to be true. He's, are you saying you doubt what I'm Finance Minister Kenneth But don't you doubt him when he said that individual bondholders were not going to be affected? When he said that pensioners were not going to be affected? So, so whatever he tells us, don't you think that it should be fair that we doubt the figures he's providing to us? And in any case, why would you force people to chatter a part in the debt restriction program that you have? When the people are saying that we want you to exempt us. And the reason why the people are asking that the minister or government should exempt them rather than they exempting themselves that if there are some consequences as a result of this program or some benefits, so to speak, those who exempt themselves may not benefit from that. And if there are some moves that government will take, either to compensate those who have been exempted by government, they will not be affected. And I think that there is a legitimate reason why the people are demanding that exempt us rather than asking us to do what? To exempt ourselves. The list said about the arrogance of Gabi Ochildaku, the better. I